Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I wanted to share with you a project that I've been chipping away at for the past few weeks here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I really enjoy old vintage vacuum cleaners. I've got a small collection of Kirby's ranging from the 1950s until about the 1970s, but this one's a little bit different. This is a 1928 Hoover Model 543. The thing that makes this unique for the time is that it had a powered brush. A lot of the vacuum cleaners back then didn't have a powered brush. I actually found this in a building that we were renting. It was thrown in a trash pile. So I did what any normal person would do is take it and do a complete nut and bolt restoration on it. But it actually turned out really nice. This is a prismatic ultra black chrome. Really, really cool color. I've used it a couple times. And the black is tiger dry lac wet black. Very, very nice color. Uh, everything else is, is mostly original. All the hardware has been Cerakoted. It's like a matte black. And we actually made a good amount of our um, uh, rivets and everything on our lathe. These are rivets we made out of solid brass. And all the hardware I actually was able to find a um, pretty close match of what it should look like in brass hardware. I actually found a website that sells reproduction cotton wound cords. So this is about what would be on this from the 1920s. I also found a reproduction plug. It's supposed to look like the Bakelite plugs from back in the 1920s. Except this one's actually UL certified, so it won't burn your house to the ground. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's everything uh, electronically, it's, it's mostly original. The stator tested out just fine, so I just put it back in the case after it was powder coated. The armature was actually pretty clean. The brush surfaces looked like they weren't too bad. Somebody replaced the brushes on this thing at one point. Um, you know, but that's the difference is something like this was built to be serviced. So uh, you could just replace the brushes and replace bits and pieces and bushings. Uh, now you just, your vacuum cleaner stops working, you throw it out, you get another one. But yeah, everything on here is serviceable. We actually, uh, the original wheels were shot. So actually I drew these up and then we printed them on our uh, SLS nylon machine and then pressed in brass bushings. So these are going to be a lot more um, reliable than the old Bakelite wheels that were on it. I mean, they were just shattered, just completely ruined when I found it. So I kind of guessed, and it actually worked out pretty good. The height adjustment is about where I want it. Um, so the overall diameter was, was a pretty good educated guess. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it works great. Uh, actually, believe it or not, this is the original bag. I mean, it's 100 years old and the bag still looks this good. I soaked it in uh, Simple Green uh, for about a week just to get all the stuff out of it. It was pretty gross. I mean, it, I think probably, I would guess the last time this thing was used was probably in the 50s or 60s. So it sat for a long time full of dirt. So I'm really, really surprised it didn't get nasty or moldy. There's a few little rips and tears, but it's really not that bad. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, this, this printing is unbelievable. I'm sure whatever they used in the ink was, uh, is now illegal, but I mean, it, it still looks great. But yeah, so I'll fire this thing up and show you how it runs. I'm really proud of it. I don't care. It's, it's kind of dumb, but you know what? I enjoy doing it. So uh, and that's kind of the whole point. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be something cool to add to the collection. It's definitely the centerpiece, something to talk about. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, a couple last things to do. I've got to do the, uh, I've got to do an impact strip for the front and I've got to make a, a, a new bag suspension strap because I just did this with mechanics wire for now. But yeah, it, uh, it runs pretty good. So all you can ask for but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll show you some pictures of befores and afters and and uh, i'm gonna fire this thing up and show you how it runs